Okay, so in this video, we are going to try and find the best method to estimate the mass of a brick, right? And I guess we're assuming that this brick is made of some type of clay or cement and is a typical brick weight. We'll say, just for total rough rounding, about five pounds. And I'm using pounds because that's my reference point. I'm using the, using the U.S. standard system. Now, there's a couple of options that they might give you. The first one you might come across, let's say choice A, is to weigh, right, and we're trying to find, again, find mass here. We're going to weigh the brick on a scale to the nearest gram, right? Now, if you're not familiar with what grams are, if you're not sure exactly how they fall into place, what you should remember is that one gram in terms of weight is about one paper clip. Here's my paper clip. And that's equal to about a gram. Now if I think in my head, you know, this I wanna weigh I wanna weigh the brick. But doesn't it seem that it would take a lot of paper clips to equal the weight of a brick? Right? And doesn't that seem a little bit ridiculous? So I wouldn't actually use grams here. Um, it's too small of a measurement. And then choice B, let's say, is the same. You weigh it on a scale, but do you want to round to the nearest kilogram? Now, kilogram means 1,000 grams. That seems a lot more reasonable to me, and that's probably the choice that I would pick. Um, another choice that I might give you is something like measure the length, the width, and the height of a brick, and then calculate the volume. Well, that's true. You can do that, but you, then you need to know the density of the brick as well, and we don't know that here. Uh, that would give you the volume, but volume doesn't tell you weight unless you know density. So don't pick a choice that talks about measuring height and width and length. Um, and also, for the more surface area, that would be useful to tell this how large the surface of the brick is, but it would not tell you, right? It would not give you anything that's helpful in terms of mass. So here I would say kilograms, if I was given those choices, are the most reasonable. Thanks.